Okay, so now let's add the app.js file. So yeah, in this I named my AngularJS app as my app and here my controller my controller is my contr CTRL in the app.js on my app inside my controller I have added bunch of method for uh, requesting get post and so on so here by default it's going to call the app user and get method which is going to give me the list which is this one then for post user post user I'm calling the post with the URL and the data username and password so here it's going as a JSON but in Java I am handling it as an object as you can see over here so I am using the Jackson uh, library for this so that it binds my JSON object as a Java object and gives it to me so that later I can insert it into the database after that update user for method put and I'm sending the ID and username and password so I'm getting by the ID so this is the update so I'm getting this ID username and password after that simple get user by ID which is this one where I'm getting just the ID and finally the delete so I'm calling the delete method with the user ID so that is the backend now let's restart the server and see what happens Okay, looks like AngularJS didn't get picked up. So I found the problem. I made a typo over here. It's resources, but I put resources like this. So yeah, now it's getting the JS properly. And if we go to the browser, we can see everything is working okay so far. So let's add a new user. And this is the username and this is the password. I didn't label it. Okay, so let's submit and I get the ID returning the ID. So I hit refresh, I get the user. So if I add another user, password one two three. So I get the ID of that user and it's adding to the list. If I use the ID over here and then I get the corresponding user, use two, then I get the second user. If I use invalid value, I get nothing. Finally, if I want to update the user one or user two, and just say the user name is user three and password is whatever, and submit, get the ID over here and looks like it's added a new user let's investigate okay so i found the problem here i made a mistake i called the insert user so it will be app user service dot update user which is app user sorry the updated user 
and finally I should return this to the other okay let's redeploy redeployment done let's refresh and if I want to update user 3 with value value password password so I should get the updated value over here let's refresh and I can see the changes over here finally if I want to delete just simply press the ID and hit submit so successful hit refresh and we have only two user now so yeah that's it guys that's it for this video if you have any question feel free to ask in the comment below and if you have any request for future videos feel free to ask that as well thanks for watching guys bye bye